good afternoon ladies and gentlemen um it's pleasure to meet you again in the afternoon session of uh, a very important pertinent topic uh, life skills for students and morning uh, you had a session on time management skills by me and afternoon we have a uh, resource person with us is dr k sindil kumar is going to talk about strategies for preparing competitive examinations and i'm so happy that we have more than 700 participants registered for the program for technical reasons we can able to admit only 100 participants in this group and the rest of the participants can view the live lectures through youtube the link has been sent to your whatsapp and kindly um, watch the video in uh, youtube also and before going to start uh, the program it's my duty and pleasure uh, momentum to uh, welcome uh, my good friend my younger brother dr sindil kumar and uh, he is a very senior and serious dedicated uh, teacher a prolific writer and a good media debater and having a good rich experience uh, in delivering lectures not only in online platform but also offline platform and you can also witness a, a series of lectures in the uh, leading uh, tamil news channels for example durdashan all india durdashan channel and he has written significantly two books one on political theory that was published some two years before and uh, recently he has uh, published uh, yet another book on uh, that is the tamil version uh, international relations and when we designed a the program uh, there is a lot of uh, topics that come to our mind and we have decided to focus upon time management preparing for competitive examinations um, leadership qualities listening capacity and so on so on so when the the topic of uh, how to prepare for civil service uh, the right person is dr sendil kumar having a rich experience in uh, training the students at anamal university and recently he is deputed to alagappa university so there also he is uh, motivating the students and uh, guiding the students in preparing for tamil nadu public service commission and other competitive examinations are conducted by government of india so hope that we have um, dr sendil very good and young uh, participants are available and uh, uh, they are really they are aspirants of civil service and i believe that the next one hour is going to be very very useful extremely useful and it is now time for dr sendil kumar you can take the, the forum and after the presentation uh, my dear participants you can raise your questions through um, clicking the the symbol and we will admit one by one to raise the questions now it's time for dr sendil kumar thanks for accepting our invitation now you can please uh, thank you dr sakthivel uh, deputy controller of examinations anamal university and professor of political science and uh, good afternoon everybody at the outset i thank and congratulate the team political science and public administration department and its competent faculty members uh, for uh, having chosen uh, good topics in order to enthuse the younger generation throughout india and for the past 3 uh, or nearly 4 decades the entire team and uh, the faculty members of uh, political science and public administration department they are putting their precious and uh, strenuous and onerous efforts in order to make uh, its students generation to get a uh, wide job opportunities particularly as rightly pointed out by dr a shanmugam our own mentor and also dr baskaran in the department of political science and public administration who had his uh, doctorate degree in united states of america 
and they particularly concentrated upon the man making process and nowadays in the indian society in the technocratic and the machinery era we could find humans but not humanitarian values the department of political science and public administration it is putting its own hard industry towards man making process and also coming to the topic uh, the bureaucratic society not only bureaucratic society uh, the department is also attempting to make uh, good political executives and that is the experiences and that is also the expectation of the faculty members of the entire department of political science and public administration and i thank uh, dr c subramaniam uh, the present head of the department and also the technical team uh, mr sivanesan ms namada uh, for uh, cooperating and uh, initiating such a wonderful event uh, for the sake of the betterment of the younger generation and uh, as i said already that uh, this team is working for, for the past uh, years uh, for making a uh, good bureaucrats and as well as a political executives and now this is the opportunity they had given me although i am in alagappa university and uh, they reposed uh, much faith upon me uh, to further proceed upon uh, this topic and uh, this topic it is very much uh, uh, near to my heart uh, since for the past uh, uh, 17 to 18 years i am working on this topic and uh, not only working on this topic uh, and uh, being uh, uh, i would say that uh, the team political science and public administration it also consists of uh, faculty members so most of the faculty members they cleared uh, either select examination or net examination so in competitive spirit also the faculty members they are highly uh, potential and with this background i just uh, i just want to share with you uh, the topic uh, related theme and also there's uh, my own experiences my own experiences uh, which i got uh, when i was uh, preparing for this kind of uh, examination so before starting and definitely we are in the position i think uh, i could not uh, guess the uh, the group the targeted groups maybe it is a conglomeration of uh, uh, different uh, people from different sectors and uh, uh, most of the people i think uh, they are all the faculty members and almost a number of uh, students community i feel very much uh, proud uh, because uh, uh, my own part is to satisfy the requirements and academic uh, thirst of uh, the students community and also i think a number of uh, journalists and uh, a different sort of uh, people uh, they are the targeted groups and uh, related with the, the topic uh, now when we scrutinize upon the indian society and indian governance and uh, different types of uh, states its own governance policy implementations and particularly employment policies and social sciences particularly i am uh, i'm just uh, confined uh, myself with the topic of social sciences uh, be it a uh, political science public administration history or uh, psychology or economics commerce sociology and then uh, anthropology theology a number of uh, subjects of so the social sciences uh, subjects when we when a person completes his post graduation uh do you think uh, he or she can get uh, the job uh, job opportunity immediately definitely it is not at all possible but uh, people students from a science background particularly biochemistry biotechnology physics chemistry and uh, bioinformatics uh, these are all the science subjects uh, which gives uh, a priority for the students capacity to grab the job opportunity not for the social sciences but natural sciences physical sciences chemical sciences managerial sciences engineering sciences medicine sciences technocratic sciences these are all the sciences which gives uh, which has got a number of uh, 
wide vistas of job opportunities which is not available for the social sciences and what would be the next step for those people who are in the social sciences those who finish uh, ma political science public administration history or some other subjects in the social sciences and i promise to you that uh, definitely it is not at all possible after completing post graduation the social sciences to get the job opportunity and that too uh, getting salary on par with the technocratic people so the one day option in front of us social science people social scientists graduates uh, ba graduates of social sciences post graduates of social sciences definitely we have got a number of wide opportunities one day in terms of competitive examinations and the number of my friends once uh, we were preparing for these kind of examinations and uh, combinedly civil service examination there are so many competitive examinations out there upsc is conducting civil service examinations in order to recruit ias ips ifs indian uh, auditing and uh, accounting services indian revenue services indian defense services indian postal services likewise uh, some 23 categories up to it finishes at andaman and the nicobar group b cadre and there is a net examination national eligibility test for lectureship uh, in order to uh, give or recognize uh, the eligibility criteria for uh, those uh, students who click the examination and there is a select examination state level eligibility test for lectureship which is being conducted by the state governments banking service recruitment examinations combined defense service examinations uh, national defense academy examinations uh, staff selection commission examinations village administrative office examinations uh, group 1 group 2 group 4 examinations likewise there are wide number of examinations which are being conducted by the state government and as well as the central government in order to pick up the capacity peoples so for the past years uh, uh, we are being connected with a number of organizations uh, different colleges universities and institutes coaching institutes and also uh, with the confidential works of tamil nadu public service commission and also upsc and uh, as an observer as a distant observer i am saying that the number of students who are very courageous and who are sincere and who are dedicated and who are committed with their goal and ambition definitely they are clicking and monthly they are spending around 5000 in chennai in tamil nadu in chennai they are spending 5000 rupees uh, for the sake of uh, uh, getting clear in this kind of uh, competitive examinations after come either after completing under graduation or otherwise after completing that post graduation even i know number of candidates who cleared uh, who had passed to be mbbs and uh, engineering in different uh, fields and they are uh, preparing their own competitive examinations in anna institute uh, which is situated in chennai and also saidi um, academy and different kinds of uh, because the, there are so many academies now uh, they are running their courses for the sake of uh, uh, giving training for the candidates so why i am saying this background this background is very essential since the competitive examination that is a crux that is essential criteria for the students community to get the job at the earliest see for a person who complete uh, who completes mbbs or who completes uh, msc nanotechnology or one who completes be robotic engineering or aeronautical engineering uh, or some other uh, different courses uh, which are widely application oriented application oriented that is very easy and immediately after completing under graduation and post graduation they'll be getting the job opportunity but competitive examination that is a only area or sector in which social science people they must concentrate so that is where and that is what i am going to speak about and how to make a study plan because uh, see this is uh, although this kind of courses gives a certificate this course of uh, webinar gives you it provides you certificate but uh, be uh, concerned be serious with what kind of uh, things which we can uh, draw from different resource persons because uh, all the resource persons in the, the in the brochure i have observed uh, uh, very famous personalities and eminent personalities eminent academicians who have who can give their own experiences and uh, and the number of people almost all the 90 percentage of all the faculty members they cleared net either net or slick and they had also put their hard industry upon civil service examinations and the tamil nadu public service commission examinations so that is why i am just putting uh, uh hectic weight upon the students community that please be serious in order to do, drag or draw what kind of information what kind of experience uh, we can get from the resource persons and how to make a study plan and what all the subjects to be learned and how to memorize how to read when to read where to read 
how to read, which time we have to spend uh, for objective questions, which time we have to spend for subjective questions, uh, which time we have to spend for taking notes, and which time our mind will be relaxed, and how to relax, and how to cure, cure our headache. Uh, these are some of the parts and parcel of uh, my own lecture. And first part of my lecture, it deals with uh, some of the strategies and tips which I had followed my own uh, experiences uh, when I was preparing for the net examination, which I cleared in the year 1999. Now it is very easy because uh, the net examination, set examination, which consists of objective type questions only. But uh, I think uh, Professor uh, Dr. Sakthivil and uh, uh, Professor uh, Subramaniam, they know very well uh, that uh, uh, those years, uh, it consists of a descriptive question, subjective questions, in which uh, there will be a question uh, asked that uh, uh, write a note on changing a uh, role of uh, opposition parties in India. For that, uh, the paper allotted for us is one and a half page. One and a half page. So we should not beat the bush that uh, India is uh, consist of India is the largest democracy. It is an ancient democracy and India is a multi-party system. We should not beat the bush. But directly, they need points. And if you are just giving any connections or if you are giving any kind of unwanted notes, immediately they will put zero marks. So in those times, we cleared net examinations. And in that capacity, I'm just trying to share my own experiences, which will be definitely useful for you. And apart from that, although whoever it may be saying and whatever it may be the content, and you have to scrutinize, you have to, what say that, analyze the content. In Tamil, there is a saying in Thirukurul that Eppurul Yar Arvai Ketpinam, Appurul Meipurul Kanbadarivu because truth is ultimate. And how to train yourself because uh, training is most important, like military training. Suppose, in case if we want to become a bodybuilder or weightlifter, we have to uh, take a feed upon uh, good food or a balanced diet. And uh, morning we have to do exercise, and evening we have to do exercise. How much time we have to spend for these kind of exercise? Likewise, in academic, also by hearting memorizing the facts and figures, and how to understand uh, different kinds of uh, dates, events, and so many things. Because for civil service examination, see, when uh, they will be asking the question, what happened in the 18th century, 16th century, 17th century, even they will be asking the question related with the Nalanda University, they'll be asking questions related with the Sumerian civilization, Babylonian civilization, Cretan civilization, Egyptian civilization, Indus civilization, American civilization, African civilization. So those are all the because it all deals with the history, political science people, public administration people, they should be aware and they should be oriented with these kind of questions. So it differs. It differs from uh, subject to subject. In case if it is a chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry. In case if it is uh, 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 physics in the sense, uh, electrostatistics, and uh, and if it is if it deals with the commerce of business mathematics. Likewise, uh, the syllabus, everything is given in UPSC and also NIT and also Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission examinations. Okay, so as per the syllabus, we have to train ourselves, and definitely it needs hard industry. And uh, apart from that, uh, I had fixed the essential. I have coined the word sacrifices. I didn't coin the word sacrifice, but we have to sacrifice. What are the sacrifices we have to commit? Uh, I mean, sacrifices in the sense uh, we have to keep ourselves aloof from all the uh, sensual related activities. Suppose in case, because when we, we were preparing for this kind of examination, I used to, uh, because I was liking Ilay Raja, Ilay Ragman music, but uh, uh, five minutes it will take <coughs> to listen to your song, five minutes it will take. But in that five minute, I can grab the number of questions. I can read almost uh, 50 objective questions. So I used to sacrifice those times. So five minutes, those five minutes, 50 questions I can uh, uh, touch into or, or otherwise 50 questions I can memorize. So five minutes, those, those songs, we can just, just postpone it. Likewise, uh, we used to sacrifice uh, for the sake of uh, getting job opportunity and things to ensure because these are all the basic foundation. These are all the basic foundation uh, which we have to be acquainted with before getting entry into the uh, these kind of competitive examination because I think I already explained that what is a competitive examination. Competitive examination is nothing but uh, it checks your uh, memory, it checks your logical capacity, your thinking capacity, and it also checks your uh, comprehensive understanding of a particular subject. That is why most of the syllabus in, the, uh, in different kinds of examination, they had incorporated general studies. I hope that you may understand general studies in the sense it covers vast the syllabus. So Indian history you have to read, world history you have to read, 
you have to read you have to acquaint with the world geography indian geography you have to acquaint with the indian polity world polity international politics you have to acquaint with the general science physics chemistry botany zoology animal husbandry uh, and different kinds of up to nanotechnology genetic engineering even in medicine sciences general general uh, knowledge general awareness they will be asking the question so competitive examinations we have to just if we have to confine everything general awareness or general knowledge and second one is general mental ability these are the two core elements as per our observation so how to tackle general studies and how to tackle general mental ability so these two issues which we are going to uh, see in the succeeding uh, part of uh, our own lecture so competitive examination it uh, tries to capture it tries to analyze a person's capacity logical capacity thinking capacity and also how vast how comprehensive his knowledge is that's all and uh, before getting into the for example if you want to if a person uh, is preparing for uh, the net examination because now lakhs and lakhs of people are preparing national level eligibility test for uh, a lectureship and also number of students they are preparing for neat examination that is different kind and upsc particularly tnpsc state government uh, group examination so know your examination make sure of your examination type of examination what whether it consists of objective type subjective type and uh, how many parts of the upsc consists of the three parts preliminary two papers and the main examination it consists of nine papers and also interview so how to crack preliminary after cracking preliminary examinations how to crack main which consists of nine papers on the how to crack a uh, general studies because general studies in main examination two papers general studies one general studies two and then third part if you cleared preliminary examination main examination and third part for example i am saying third part is interview so how to face interview which will consist of uh, most uh, expertise from different parts of uh, tamil nadu different parts of india they will be pouring number of questions to you maybe they'll be asking questions from uh, uh, olympics uh, in the 18th century or 19th century 19th century, 20th century, middle part of the 20th century, uh, where it happened, and even the one time in competitive uh, success review, I uh, I was coming across uh, a question in which uh, the cricket match which happened between India and Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, how many wickets uh, they gained, India gained. Like was these are all the questions which were asked uh, in the UPSC examination. So we have to be uh, apprised with. We have to. be abreast with all kinds of uh, these minute informations so because why they are asking we can you can just think of it that uh, why this uh, minute informations they are asking facts and figures they are asking uh, it is uh, just to check out the accuracy and the precision of your mindset so how your mind uh, is having or tackling with all kinds of information in case if you are appointed as a indian administrative service officer in case if you are appointed as a indian police service officer ips officer suppose uh, on caste uh, violence is happening so we have to you have to immediately think about uh, that district you have to immediately think about uh, that particular area you have to think about uh, immediately about uh, the population which it consists of how much uh, this caste consists of how much majority uh, caste uh, consists of and how the caste happened uh, caste clashes happened and how to solve the problem like this okay this is this needs general information this needs logical ability that is why almost all the examinations including village administrative uh, office examination everything net examination upsc examination uh, state government uh, examination or different kinds of uh, police service examination the two core elements are general mental ability and general awareness so know the nature of the examination subjectivity or objectivity and also to correlate the nature of the job and the exam so how far the exam and its preparation uh, it is related with the job because when we were uh, when we used to prepare for these kind of examinations uh, at one time we will be getting our mind will be getting saturated so why we have to read much things why have we have to read physics chemistry uh, botany zoology indian polity world polity world geography indian geography animal husbandry agriculture and nanotechnology genetic and why do, so your mind will be getting saturated at that time you have to think about the job in which you are going to grab so once if you are sitting in the chair as an ias officer once if you are sitting in this uh, chair of ips officer once you are sitting in the chair of 
IFS officer, Indian Foreign Service. Indian Foreign Service, it is the greatest job. Uh, mostly people from political science and international politics, they, they try to grab the opportunity of uh, Indian Foreign Service because we will be appointed as an ambassador in different kinds of countries. So while we were preparing for these kinds of examinations, we should not lose our heart and mind. That is very essential. So we have to think, uh, when we get the saturated, we have to think about the job. See, what uh, if I get the job? What about my family? What about my status? What about my economical status? What about my so social status? And uh, different kinds of things, okay? That is why we have to correlate the nature of the job and the examination. And also classify the syllabus, okay? Syllabus, uh, uh, when we speak about the syllabus, uh, when we were preparing for this, uh, because we had the targets of uh, clicking UPSC at the same time, when we were doing MA in the Department of Political Science and Public Administration, we were under the mentorship of a great stalwarts like Dr. A. Shanmugam, Dr. Bhaskaran sir, Dr. Samiran sir, who trained our city. And they just asked us to, what is the initial step for preparing for this examination? We have to buy her the entire syllabus. When we were doing MA, either it is a modern political system or Indian constitution or world constitution or international politics or research methodology or political theory or political philosophy or Western political thought, we were trying to just to memorize all the syllabus. Where to start with the Western political thought? So Plato, where to end, where it ends, Karl Marx. So Karl Marx has written the book, A Das Kapital. Uh, what are the books written by Plato, uh, Republic, Statesman, Laws? Uh, what are the books written by uh, Politics, Ethics? What is the book written by Machiavelli, Prince? Uh, what is the uh, book uh, written by St. Augustine, um, City of God? Okay, what is the book written by Hobbes, uh, Social Contract? What is the book written by Locke, Who Criticism of Government? What is the book written by Rousseau, Social Contract, Likewise? Okay, likewise, the syllabus has to be memorized. And after memorizing the syllabus, each and every concept which are incorporated in every unit. So first unit starts with Plato. Second unit starts with Machiavelli. Third unit starts with Marx. Likewise, we have to buy heart the syllabus. Okay, and then classify the, uh, the, what's it, the history of a question bank, because question bank, that is also very essential. Uh, even we have got uh, in the political science and public administration department, we have got uh, 15 to 20 years of a question bank with answers, with answers. And that is very essential. And uh, we were very, very much uh, the part of uh, those things. And uh, because uh, one of my friends used to say that we have to do research upon the uh, question bank. So what is, uh, how to do research with the question bank? See, when we do research upon the different kinds of a question bank in different years, we can come to know some common questions will be asked throughout all the examinations. So for that purpose only, we have to do research upon the history of the question bank. And that is the passport of your success. And coming to the crux main, and these are all the, some of the foundation, because uh, I think uh, I have uh, made your mind and uh, some foundational things before getting into uh, the preparatory part of any examination. Okay, see, I have said to you that be it civil service examination, group examination, net or select examination, BAO examination, group one, group two, group four examination, NDA examination, CDS examination, banking service examination, staff selection commission examination, any kind of examinations, all these examinations are having two elements. One is general knowledge, another one is general mental ability. And uh, definitely I must be uh, pointing out different kinds of uh, basic literature which we must be acquainted with. Before getting entry into any type of competitive examinations, please try to find out uh, the books which are prescribed or recommended in the indiacivilservice.com. See, uh, the primary part of recruiting agency throughout India is none other than UPC, Union Public Service Commission. So state government is having its own uh, state public service commission. That is, that is different. Okay. Besides that, they are having UPSC. So whatever UPSC is prescribed then, because it is having indiacivilservice.com in which for each and every subject for political science, public administration, uh, history, psychology, uh, physics, max, uh, chemistry, zoology, biochemistry. So likewise, every subject it has got its own recommended books in uh, indiacivilservice.com. Those books, please try to. 
and uh, some of the general studies book i just want to mention to you i just want to share with you because those are all the books which were uh, being acquainted with us in the years of 19 in, in the part of the 1980s so i'm not saying anything because uh, uh, these are the books which were acquainted with me and a number of my friends also preparing for these kind of examinations and uh, the primary book which you have to get is um, uh, i think uh, dr sector also he has given me one of the book india after gandhi the first uh, book which you must be well versed for in order to properly understanding about indian history indian philosophy indian polity uh, dynamics of indian politics okay like first for this to have a comprehensive understanding you have to have you have to buy india after gandhi uh, by ramachandra guha and uh, to know about the world history you have to read glimpses of a world history by jawaharlal nehru please uh, point it down so that it will be useful for you or otherwise so uh, i will just uh, send you the powerpoint and hg wells has written uh, an outline of world history jawaharlal nehru has written uh, glimpses of world history and uh, agni uh, agni gotari indian history agni gotari indian history and uh, for geography indian geography uh, world geography physics general sciences and uh, other subjects other subject other specialization we have to get a guide general studies guide india yearbook that is good unique guide for uh, preliminary examination and as well as main examination that is also good spectrum spectrum guide is also good mnm guide is also good and this is a suras guide suras guide these are the these are some of the guides okay first we have to start with uh, this general studies the general studies guide it also includes it also incorporated with the general mental ability general mental ability means uh, it comprises with the arithmetical ability and the numerical ability okay which is very easy which is very easy when you are uh, working when you are practicing upon it if you know the technicalities of tackling particular problem then it will be, then it will become a hobby for you to tackle over the general mental ability and arithmetic ability or numerical ability missing numbers uh, diagrams they'll be used to give diagrams and what next is the diagram like was they used to ask the question in different kinds of competitive examinations so means and ends coming to the first point means and ends so what is uh, the means that has to be adopted and what is the end end is our target to become is to become assistant professor in history to become assistant professor in physics or chemistry like was end that is and means okay what does it mean our own capacity is a means our own time is our means okay we have to be very much particular about our own capacity our own energy and our own time okay i think uh, dr sakivel has appraised with you the preciousness of a time management so time is the only weapon to attack with time is the only property we are having even until this age i am almost uh, in the 50s and i believe only in the property of time i am having time okay god has given me time that's enough no property okay i'll be working uh, along the distance so means capacity energy time end that is our target and we should not at any cost we should not uh, uh, waste these kind of uh, factors in different ways and the starting stage what about the starting stage uh it also differs from subject to subject all the subjects are because i belong to political science and the public administration so starting stage uh you just consult with uh, your own professors because it differs from subject to subject for political science you can start with unique guide okay that is what my own experience and also we can start with rc agarwal because like the professor baskaran uh, our own mentor uh, advice to read or devour the entire book of indian constitutional development written by rc agarwal so it differs from person to person professor to professor department to department so starting stage any one guide is essential general studies unique guide and for uh, subject another guide uh, be it a uh, unique or a uh, it differs and uh, uh, this is for uh, general knowledge general mental ability and that's all okay so this is a starting stage and any primary or basic book uh, for example uh, for political science students we have to be apprised with the dd basu introduction to the constitution of india uh, durga das basu that is a basic book. so starting stage any basic guides and coming to the 
uh, being with the subjects. When you read Hamlet, be Hamlet. When we speak about Plato, when we read about Plato, when we read about uh, Adam Smith, a uh, father of uh, uh, macroeconomics, who has written a wealth of nations, uh, when we read about uh, Peter Drucker, a uh, father of uh, management, or uh, when we read about uh, uh, different organic compounds uh, in the chemistry, or when we read about uh, different principles of uh, current or light, properties of light. So being with the subject that is very essential. Essential. Uh, suppose uh, if I read a republic, a state, what is meant by state? What is meant by government? State is organized for law in a different territory. What is the government? Government is a machinery which consists of political executives and permanent executives for fulfilling the betterment of the different communities. State and government. Okay, so these are all the basic things, basic things in which while we read, we have to think, we have to put our entire mind into the subject. When we read about Edison, when we read about Karl Marx, when we read about Obama, when we read about Abraham Lincoln, when we read about Genghis Khan, when we read about Hitler, when we read about uh, Mussolini, when we read about Cultural Revolution, when we read about French Revolution which happened in the year 1789, when we read about glorious revolution, when we read about Treaty of Westphalia, when we read about First World War which happened between 1914 to 1990 and the Second World War which happened between 1939 to 1945, we have to convert ourselves into facts and figures of that particular event, concept, phenomenon, factor. That's all. And that is known to be the being with the subjects. So when we used to lie down in the bed after completing our syllabus and everything, we have to think about the factors, different concepts, different phenomena, different theories, different laws, different enactments, and what is uh, the article uh, number for the national emergency, what is the uh, article for the state emergency, what is the article for the financial emergency, and the presidential for different kinds of uh, uh, powers and functions of the president. Likewise, we have to be with the subject. I'm just speaking about political science. I'm just speaking about Indian constitution. I'm just speaking about uh, history. I'm just speaking about world history. And you just think of it, it depends upon your subject. If it is physics, you think about yourself. Okay. So being with the subject, that is very essential. All other things, while we are preparing for these kind of examinations, while we are pruning towards the subject, why we are devouring completely our energy, our mind, our time, everything, physically, mentally, you have to be, what say that, uh, 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 your mind should be always equipped with that particular reason. Okay? And that is known to be being with the subject. Rest of the thing you don't need to worry about. And even uh, my mind uh, stuck with the Lord Buddha's uh, dictum, let everything around you, around you decay, but be stubborn in your ambition. That is what going to be being the subject. And uh, another tips when we are preparing for these examinations is uh, Socrates method. Do you know Socrates method? It is also known to be dialectical method. Dialectical method in the sense questioning and answering. And it is also said by Hegel. A German philosopher who has uh, pointed out, who has mentioned in his book, Hegel, uh, thesis, antithesis, synthesis. And uh, our own, in Indian philosopher, uh, I think uh, he's the vice president of uh, Radhakrishnan, uh, in his uh, two volumes of the philosophy, he said that uh, proposition, opposition, supposition. Likewise, we have to raise questions. Even uh, the father of a political science used to raise the questions in Greeks. For the sake of questioning to the younger generation, for the sake of enlightening the younger generation, he was sentenced to death. So asking question is very much important. What is religion? What is caste system? And how this caste system emulated? And what is the history of caste system? What is the history of religious system? And how the religions erupted? What is the origin of Hinduism? 
Likewise, we have to ask questions, many number of questions. If we are confined, if we are highly satisfied with uh, ourselves, and definitely that is a finishing point for So Socrates method is nothing but always raise questions related with the events, or related with the facts, or related with the figures, related with the theories, related with laws. Socrates method, that is one of the strategy in order to click over this kind of a challenge. Taking and handling, that is a very essential part of uh, this preparatory part uh, for the competitive examinations. In the, during the press times or in the daytime, please take notes. At least spend time, one or one and a half hours for news reading regularly, every day. Every day, you have to uprise the information, take down the information. So what is the age of Modi, which state uh, he belongs to, and uh, how many political parties uh, uh, are the part and parcel of the uh, ruling party and what are the opposition parties, and what are the state which uh, consists of the opposition parties against the BJP, and, uh, uh, and what is happening in the United States of America, what is happening in North Korea, what is happening in Russia, what is happening in China, and what is this COVID-19. Uh, uh, okay, likewise, we have to take notes, make notes, notes and information, and how to handle this. Please keep a short packet notes, short packet notes, so that you can just enter these information in the packet note. And while you are going for college, while you are going for your institute, while you are going for uh, uh, the enterprises or company, you can just, you can find the much time free time. So in those free times, you can just have a rehearsal of those facts and figures. Okay. Uh, besides the working time, you'll be finding much time. Because uh, I'm just a particular about the students community. If uh, there is no teacher in your department, if there is no class, if you're free, and handle those informations, be with the information, be apprised and be memorized with those kind of information. And uh, coming to the half an hour a subject, see, uh, general studies, general mental ability, and uh, numerical ability, arithmetic ability, these are all the vital parts of the any competitive examinations. So half an hour subject in the sense, for example, if you are having uh, 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 political science as an optional subject. Okay. Political science as an optional subject and uh, you will be having syllabus. It differs economics or uh, sociology, the syllabus differs. And uh, you just uh, see the syllabus. See the syllabus. Political science consists of political theory, political philosophy, international politics, research methodology, public administration, world constitution, international politics, like this. Okay. These are all main subjects. The uh, componential parts of political science. So for each and every sub parts of political science, take a book and spend with that book half an hour. Take notes from that book. So for every sub parts of political science, you can spend half an hour and take notes and information. So political theory, political philosophy, Indian constitution, world constitution, international politics, public administration, research methodology. Likewise, you just decide the sub parts of your syllabus your subject okay it differs as i already mentioned to you so half an hour half an hour half an hour three hours per session three hours per session this three hours per session if a person if a candidate who is preparing for this kind of examination without any mind disturbances if he has spent for three hours without any distractions definitely that candidate will click any kind of competitive examination so these three sessions and uh, can be elongated to next session. Three session, uh, sorry, three hours, one session, and uh, six hours, two sessions, and uh, uh, nine hours, three sessions. So three sessions are essential. One session is equal to three hours, nine hours. As also Irayandu also pointed out yesterday, I was just uh, looking upon some uh, information. He was advising the students' community to spend time for uh, 12 hours. So how to tackle logic, how to tackle general affairs, as I mentioned earlier. So general mental ability, just I just want to share with you uh, my own experience uh, because uh, I'm very much poor in mathematics. I'm very much poor in general mental ability. So how to solve? So I found that uh, even uh, my mind stuck with the tough times never lost, but tough people do. So we have to find out where uh, our weakness is. I found that I am good in theory, 
uh, I am good in memorizing the information, but where we lack, and I lack it in logic, mental ability. So I found that it is very tough. So how to spin, how to solve, how to tackle all these issues. So every day morning, that is very tough time. And morning, I think, I think uh, that uh, you'll be feeling pleasant uh, with good air, breeze. And we used our mind says that uh, we should uh, have an interesting reading, interesting reading in uh, any subjects. But uh, I have made myself that in the morning, if you spend time with the tough subjects, tough things, and easier subjects will become easy in the daytime. So I've spent every day three hours for gentle mental ability for six months. Four to seven, that is the time which I had spent for gentle mental ability and without knowing the techniques. See logic, uh, my advice is also to the students community, those who are preparing for this examination, aspirants, please go to any institute and try to uh, know the techniques uh, to solve the problems, to solve the issues. So any institute, I advise you to join it. But my own experience, I had just, uh, I had a barbarian method, okay. And simply I had memorized all the problems, general mental ability, numerical ability, arithmetic ability. I had memorized all the problems and the uh, answers. So it was very easy for me when I was appearing for the examination, it was very easy for me to tackle and to give the solution. Yeah, I can see or be like was I had given answers. So logic, I advise to you to join any institute. And apart from that, practice for three hours. Gentle mental ability, uh, those who are weak in the gentle mental ability, numerical ability, please try to spend at least three hours per day. That is very essential for you in order to click the competitive examination. Gentle studies, I think I have already said, tackling logic and diary writing, which uh, I have also written an article in Tamil Hindu daily. Uh, in which I, I had put more emphasis on diary writing. In the morning, you have to write what are all the subjects which we have to cover throughout the day, in case Saturday or Sunday. So, general studies, general science morning, uh, general mental ability, a newspaper, and a vocabulary power, how to improve vocabulary power by Norman Lewis. Okay, and also we have to spend time for the personality development. Personality development books were written by so many scholars. So many scholars. I think uh, one of the book, the best book uh, is uh, Thinking or Thoughts. Uh, the author is uh, Norman Lacoise and uh, Robert Sculler. Yes, Robert Sculler, another uh, writer who has written the book uh, uh, Tough Times Never Lost, but the Tough People Do. Uh, and uh, these are all uh, some of the personality development books. So morning, every day, you have to uh, write uh, the subjects that has to be covered that day and every day when you are uh, going to bed you have to uh, tick mark whether the subject is covered or not if you have not covered that particular subject and what is the problem uh, why I didn't cover particular subject and that issue you have to mention so the next day while you are preparing for the examination while you are continuing for this examination or a competitive examination preparation so those issues we have to resolve upon. So diary writing, that is very essential because after clicking these kind of examination, when you are sitting in the chair of IAS, when you are working as an assistant professor, you will be thinking about that before 10 years back, I was working for 10 hours, I was working for 12 hours, I was working for 15 hours. Likewise, that is a good reminiscence for you. So for that purpose, and also you can advise to the younger generation, the upcoming generation about how to spend time, how to prepare for this kind of examination. For that purpose also diary writing is very essential. News re registering every day, one and a half hours, that is very essential. Morning 7 to 8.30, any newspaper, Hindu or uh, Indian Express or any type of newspapers. And also you have to spend time with the front line. You have to spend time with the economical and political weekly and different kinds of magazines. Uh, competitive to success review, uh, general knowledge today. These are some of the magazines, journals, and uh, news dailies from which you have to update the information. So, a lot separate notebook for national affairs, international affairs. So, national affairs, what are all the happenings today? Please register the information. 
So for international affairs, a separate notebook, you have to register what all the international happenings, what happened in China, what happened in America, what happened in Russia, what happening, what is happening in India, what has happened in Pakistan, what has happened in uh, Arctic Ocean, uh, what has happened in Antarctica, what is happening in the scientific expedition, what are the new inventions, what are the new discoveries. Likewise, those informations you have to write it in the at the international separate notebook, at national level separate notebook. These two, that is the very it, it consists of mines of information while you are going for examination before two days or before one week you have to revise those information so use registering every day one and a half hours repeating and retrieving always see already we have taken notes already we are in the path we are in the preparatory path of civil service examination we are in the path of uh, other group uh, competitive examinations we have to whenever we feel free uh, in case you are waiting for higher authorities, you just uh, try to uh, get the information, retrieve the information. So what is the uh, year uh, which happened, the French Revolution, uh, which year it happened, 1789, a Treaty of Vienna, 1815, a Treaty of Westphalia, 1648, and uh, uh, First World War, 1914 to 1918, uh, and uh, I'll say that uh, Second World War, uh, 1939 to 1945. Cultural Revolution, which happened in China, 1949, and uh, 1956 Suez Crisis, and uh, 1960s Vietnam Crisis, 1980s Afghanistan Crisis, 1991 Gulf War, 2008 Financial Crisis, 2019 COVID. Okay, likewise, these are all the the informations which we had already memorized, and we have to retrieve and repeat the information so that while you are sitting for the examination. While you are sitting for the interview, your mouth will not be stopping or desisting from just exhibiting those informations, which you had memorized uh, uh, by just putting your precious time and hard industry. Objective questions. And coming to objective questions, don't, please, I advise you, don't read objective questions in the early morning. Early morning, tough subjects. Daytime, science and uh, general mental ability and the uh, likewise okay those news registering main subjects different kinds of suggested so in the evening time after spending some nine to ten hours you'll be feeling somewhat uh, bored with uh, uh, the informations which you have acquainted with so relax me you can spend time with objective questions and at this stage objective questions please read every day 50 objective questions so 50 objective questions i am advising to you okay see whatever dr siddhal kumar is saying to you it is my own experience but uh, i am not strictly advising to you that you must follow dr siddhal kumar you must follow dr sakthivel you must follow dr nilam pandey like this okay, i am not advising to you have your own path have your own originality and that is where you differ if you are following Dr. Sandil Kumar, if you are following Dr. Saktivel, then there is no difference between Sandil Kumar and that person. Okay, any unknown uh, competitive examination aspirant. So have your own path. If Sandil Kumar is saying 50 questions per day, then you can just uh, raise up to 60 questions. Why not 100 questions? See, 50 questions, how much time it will take? Just uh, 30 to 40 minutes. See, when you are preparing for the competitive type of examinations, uh, why it takes much time uh, for retrieving the facts and the figures from your mind because you are not at all touching up your subjects. When you are writing for the examinations, number of my students, they used to find the express their own difficulty, sir. Uh, it is in my mind, sir, but it is not coming in the paper, sir. They used to say. So there is a distance between, there is a distance between his mind and hand or his lips. That is what, that is where we have to rehearse, rehearse, rep, uh, repeating, Retrieving, retrieving. I strongly advise it. I'm strongly advising to you. Uh, retrieval of facts, uh, repeated uh, retrieval of facts, and practice, practice, practice. So, objective questions every day, please try to spend uh, just uh, uh, 30 to uh, one, one hour, 30 minutes to one hour, and at least 50 questions, objective questions. Don't read objective questions in the early morning. Please read objective questions in the evening. And uh, coming to the, I think, uh, the 15 layer understanding every concept every theory every factor every subject which you are coming across okay whatever it may be the subject uh, as per my own observation 
50 layer understanding is very what is my 50 layer understanding so in case our own subject uh, democracy democracy means government of the people by the people for the people so people's government people are powerful in the democracy whether all the countries in this world are following the democratic type of governments no there are some theocratic type of governments what is meant by theocratic type of governments religious governments what is meant by religious governments the government which gives priority for religion and not for the constitutional principles that is called theocratic governments any other type of governments which are prevailing in this world how many countries are there 195 nations in this world and uh, so what is the population of this entire world seven and a half billion population how many continents are there in this world though so there, there are seven continents so which are the continents which are uh, highly affected or victimized asia africa latin america what are all the major religions of this world uh, buddhism christianity hinduism islam likewise okay so these are all the things which we have to keep in mind 50 layer understanding in the sense taking a particular concept for example mahatma gandhi what type of relationship existed between mahatma gandhi and jinnah why what is the need existed uh, for the birth of pakistan what is the role of muslim league? what is the role of extremism what is the role of uh, uh, moderates and what is the role of uh, netaji subhash and others and what is the role of singapore governments in supporting the role of netaji subhash and others likewise every concept every theory every sub part of the subject that has to be understood in the 15 sectors okay 15 sectors that is what not to be 15 layers and everything it is going to be the mind uh, practices everything depends upon the mind practices and confidence the confidence our level of confidence will be improving it will be getting developed only on the basis of our own practices and how far you are sticking with a particular subject how far you are in the uh, practical mode of preparation for it depends upon the confidence the level of confidence it depends upon the preparation and always be optimist because pessimist nothing doing optimism in the sense believing in the best and also uh, we are having number of strategies to take care of the physical health the mental health attentiveness and the presence of mind when we prepare for this examination we have to uh, just open eyes and ears in a broad way okay because we have to grab the information we have to listen the information and we have to have a filter upon our own ears all bad informations or unknown informations uh, unknown in the sense un unwanted informations we have to filter only those informations which are helpful for the competitive examinations we have to get entered with and the eyes that should be looking into what is happening here uh, how the uh, district is being maintained whether cleanliness is being maintained whether all the welfare policies are implemented or not and what kind of measures are being taken by the government in order to tackle over uh, COVID-19 likewise uh, that is what not to be there a presence of mind okay and three bonus tips uh, programming uh, how to prepare for the examination and the practice that is very very essential that is a crux of uh, this competitive examination and the passion never give up attitude uh, these are all some of the things uh, which are and keep you yourself because uh, most of the people i find the uh, huge mass of the younger generation being highly spent with uh, this electronic gadgets like whatsapp and the number of always being with mobile because by being with mobile also we can get uh, acquainted with the good information because general studies information general mental ability and uh, this number of quiz questions everything is avail available in the mobile so by being with the mobile acquainted with the minute information and dedicate yourself isolate yourself mostly from your friends because as per me and even when we were preparing for this examination uh, good friends uh, friends who are cooperative with us friends who are preparing examination with us that's good but uh, whenever if we are being with uh, friends who are not at all preparing anything please try to avoid those things and uh, these are all the things to ensure I use a standard book and already had mentioned to enter to a break also that is very much essential and uh, revision practices 
referring of uh, too many books too many books for single concepts if you refer too many books so uh, we will be deviated from the uh, main ideas and uh, these are all some of the strategies and due to want of time so maybe it will take another one hour or two hours uh, to spend uh, with you for appraising a good number of informations anyway tough times never last but tough people do be a tough guy and definitely your time will start so with this i conclude my speech and i thank uh, the wonderful opportunity which is provided by the department of political science and public administration the head of the department that is sir subramanian is from the university professor of political science additional charge and i thank uh, mr sivanesan and ms namada phd scholar uh, for helping and introducing the uh, department in a cordial part thank you thank you one and all i welcome for the questions thank you dr sindhil kumar for wonderful lecture really it was amazing and uh, fabulous and uh, hope that uh, Uh, participants really enjoyed enjoyed your session and it is it is your rich experience with preparing for civil service has come out and participants you can uh, as i told in the morning it's not uh, like a regular lecture uh, it is your life skill and see that uh, people uh, dr sindhil kumar is sitting from alagappa university karekudi but they are sitting in anamana university we are trying to connect uh, with uh, dr sindhil kumar and how much of time we are spending for uh, Uh, empowering the youth uh, through soft skills so kindly practice 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 there is no substitute for hard work it is only your dedication sincerity seriousness really will take you into the next position uh, really i listened full lecture from starting one to end end it was really wonderful and 